Hi everyone, welcome back. Okay, so I'm here at Uranus Peace. I've just uh, done a little bit of resting after some uh, some hard work at uh, fighting monsters and building ourselves up. Let me come out of here and pause here for a moment. Let's take a look at our stats now. Check these out. I mean, look, look at these. When we started, our strength was, what, 25 or something like that? Now it's up to 75. The only thing that hasn't gone up in this column is the intelligence, because in, you know fighting doesn't really make you smarter. But our vitality is way up. Our luck has increased quite a bit. And over on this side, weapon use is 80. That's great. And check this out. The maximum that any of these numbers can reach in this game, in the first Quest for Glory game, the, the highest any of these can go is 100. And I maxed out throwing. That took uh, quite a lot of throwing rocks out in the forest. I spent a fair bit of time just picking up rocks and throwing them at nothing just to build up the throwing skill. I think I, must, I, I threw literally several hundred rocks to get it up there. Uh, so, you know, that's maxed out. It can't go beyond 100. Climbing, I built this up by climbing up and down the tree outside the healer's house, and I kind of left it at 75 just because that's about where I got sick of typing climb up and climb down repeatedly. You know, it's three quarters of the way. I might build it up later on. When I'm playing this game, I like to build up the stats as much as possible before I finish because in the next game, Quest for Glory 2, you can import your character from this game. When you finish this game, you can save this uh, character and all his... Uh, I don't know, should I say his or her? I mean, even if you're a woman, your character in the game is still a male. But Anyway, you can save all the character stats to a, uh, a file and then load that file in the next game and that'll let you start off with these stats. So it basically lets you start at an advantage. Uh, which is nice, and I like to build this character up as much as possible, because here's the thing about Quest for Glory 2. It runs on a timer. It's the only game in the series that has a set schedule beyond which uh, you can't go. You, the, the game runs on a 30-day cycle, and that's it. After 30 days of game time, the game is over. Whereas with this game, the first one, as well as all the other games, uh, numbers 3, 4, and 5 in the series, you can take as much time as you like. So we have all the time in the world to finish this game. We're in no rush. I want to build up my stats before I finish so that we can be ready to, you know, when we start Quest for Glory 2, we'll, we're just ready to kick ass from day one. No building up the character. We're ready to go. We're just ready to rock out. So I want to get as much uh, as possible, as, as close as I can to 100 on all of those skills. But for now, we're at the point where I think we're ready to do this. If you go down and then right from, yeah, from Aranus Peace, take a look at this guy. Check out this monster. This ogre is in a bad mood. Folks, this is an ogre. It's the only ogre in the game. In the whole game, there's only this one. And once you kill it, that's it. Done. And I think uh, I think we're at a point where we're ready to try and take it on. Let's see. Can we... And big. Very big. He's not that big. He's a little taller than us, I guess. But he's... You know, but he's, he's, he's well built. You can see he's pretty uh, muscular. Can we talk to the ogre? Uh, can we ask about... Uh, Let's see, ask about the stock market. What are your opinions on the stock market, Ogre? Mm, doesn't have one. Can we ask about anything? We get no response. This Ogre is also not very talkative. In fact, hostile intent is evident. You prepare for battle. I guess it's time to fight. Okay, I wouldn't want to fight this guy right off the top at the start of the game, but we can s you can see I'm... There we go. He actually got defeated pretty easily. Not too tough to beat the Ogre at this point. When you can beat the Ogre, it's time to, you know, really start branching out. At this point, I can take on almost any kind of monster in the, uh, in the forest. Because um, the Ogre is actually one of the tougher monsters in the game, and we defeated him fairly easily. So, let's search the body as usual. The search of the dead Ogre's body produces no treasure. However, the treasure chest he was carrying lies beside his body. Uh, can we get the chest? The chest is locked. Yeah, so we can't open the chest. You don't have the right tools. You have to find another way to open it. Okay, let's think like a fighter and force the chest open. What? Not sure what you're trying to do. So we'll just force chest. There we go. You force the ogre's chest open. You know, didn't understand when I said force chest open, but just force chest work. This works. This great. The dead ogre's chest contains one gold and forty-three silver, which you take and put away. Not too bad. And we got because we're a fighter, we got two points for our one and only ogre kill. So I'm going to save here. Defeated Ogre. Nice. Very nice. Uh, and you might wonder, well, what's in this cave? Aren't we going to go exploring this cave now? Uh, the answer is no, because that brings out a different story branch, which I'm not, I'm not sure that we're quite ready for that yet. I don't want to go there yet. I want to do some other stuff first. So let's leave that cave behind for now and just take it on good faith that now the Ogre is dead and therefore 
we will be able to have ready access to the cave. We can just walk into the cave without having to fight the ogre later. Okay, I think I'm done with um, role-playing stuff for now. We'll return to it later. But for now, I'm going to go back to some adventuring elements and show you some uh, stuff. And if we run into any monsters in the woods, I'm just going to run away from battle. You can just run away from any fight, uh, or for most fights in the game, you can just run away from if you don't want to... Uh, Okay, so here we are back in the graveyard. Uh, one thing I didn't do... Uh, let me show you just what happens if you walk into that hole. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna save the game. What's in there? Just because CR games always have humorous deaths, so I wanna, you know, I want us to share the all the magic and splendor of dying many different ways. Watch your step. You stepped into a hole whose depth is unfathomable. As you fall ever downward, you feel icy fingers clutching at you, and you think, how could I be so careless? Well, the game is making the assumption that we carelessly stepped into the hole, when in fact it was a quite deliberate act, but... Okay, so I'm going to restore the game. There we go. Now you can say that you've seen how you die in the graveyard. Let's see, where am I going from here? I have some idea of where I'm going, I just... Let me consult my map. I actually went to the trouble of pulling out the hint book for this game, just so I could look at the map in the back of it. Here we go. Now here's this... Uh, uh, this white uh, animal, I guess it's a stag, right? Let's take a look at the stag. Can we look at it? The white stag takes a mighty leap. That's right. Let me save the game here again, because there's something else funny that you can do with the stag. Let's uh, uh, let's check this out. Save the game, white stag. So we follow the stag. Let's see where, he, where he's going. He's grazing on the ground peacefully. Let's follow him again. Oh, wait, I forgot to do his... Gosh darn it. You know what? I forgot to do what I was just going to do. Let me restore the game and try this one again. I, what I meant to do was try to aggress the stag somewhat. Let's say if we fight the stag, the stag seems to be magically protected. Now you might just look at that and think, okay, so it's just an adventure game message telling you you can't fight the stag, right? No big deal, he's magically protected or whatever. Forget about it. Be done with it. But no, if you go into the next screen... wait for him to finish his little excursion. You follow the stag into this forest corner. You feel as though the eyes of the forest are watching you. You watch the stag, fascinated with his grace and beauty. There is something special about this place. Indeed there is. Now, you'd think, okay, we'll just keep going on as usual. Oh look, it's a dryad. You have attempted to harm a free creature of the forest. You shall now become a part of the forest. Oh dear, you are staggered by the Dryad's spell. She appears to enjoy having lots of bucks. I love this, the way they actually made the coloring of the stag match the, uh, the, uh, you know, the clothing, like the colors of the cape and the clothes of the hero. Okay, so, moral of the story, don't attack the stag, because you'll get turned into one by the Dryad. So we'll restore the game here. Go back to where we were, and follow the stag again without trying to hurt it this time. Same message as this last time, I'm not going to read these again. This time, the Dryad won't kill us, though. Or transform us. I am the Dryad, Keeper of the Woods. Are you one with the woods? Um... When I'm first teeing off, yeah, I mean, uh... Woods are good at the start. Later on, when you get closer to the green, you start using your chipping wedge, etc. But I'm going to save the game here again. I save a lot in these games, because, you know, you die frequently or screw up a lot. Let's see what happens if we say no. You need to become a friend of the forest. Harm not the gentle creatures or plants. See with all your senses the magic of the trees and wild places. Wander and learn. Then you too will be in harmony with the forest. I don't know if I can come back and... You know what? I'm just going to restore and say yes this time. Yes. Then you shall aid me, and I shall aid you in your quest. Bring me a seed from the spore-spitting... Sp is that Spiria or Spiria? of the north that I may plant it elsewhere in order to preserve these rare and magical plants. Thus will you become a true friend of the forest. Okay. Have we seen any plants around that spit seeds? Indeed we did. In my last, uh, or one of my prior videos, we took a little uh, detour through a place that had such plants. So now I'm on a quest for the seed. And I'm also out of time. I've just hit uh, about six minutes, so I'm going to pause right here and continue in the next video. Thank you very much for watching, everyone, and I'll see you next time.